guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of This Information Alarms Me, we're going to be talking about T.I. Now, most recently, I've tried to stay away from celebrity type drama, so to speak, but I think this is a bigger issue than drama. To me, it speaks to a larger societal issue of which I all think we're aware, but I just kind of want to voice my opinion about it because I'm annoyed and I need to have a little bit of a rant. And so so if you want to scream with me, go ahead and scream in the comments. So if you didn't know, T.I. is an American rapper. The last song I remember hearing by him, I think, was Whatever You Like when I was in fifth grade. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't remember any other song he's released since then. Sorry if that sounds shady, but I genuinely forgot he existed until I saw this headline. The rapper and actor T.I. prompted widespread outrage after revealing on a podcast that he has accompanied his daughter, now 18, to a yearly doctor appointment to ensure that her hymen is still intact. Scientists have long condemned so-called virginity testing as violation of a woman's rights, as well as a sham procedure unsupported by evidence. A virginity exam does not exist, says Dr. Maura Quinlan, an associate professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Northwestern University in Chicago. If someone brought me a girl for a virginity exam, I would tell them I can't say either way. In a podcast interview that aired on Tuesday, T.I., whose full name is Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., said he made yearly trips to the gynecologist with his daughter, even though she is now 18 years old and in her first year of college. In the United States, parents no longer have the right to see a child's medical records after the age of 18 and need permission to discuss diagnoses and treatments with a doctor or medical provider. In the interview, T.I. recalled that during the appointment, a doctor said he needed such permission to learn about his daughter's hymen and that he told her to provide it. The trend in adolescent medicine, however, is for doctors to see young patients alone so they may discuss such sensitive topics as sexuality or drug use. Whatever someone wants to do, as long as it's consensual and as long as they're being safe and taking the precautions, it's not anyone's business. Now, of course, no parent wants to think of their children having sex the same way that no children really want to think of their parents having sex. The difference is that a parent is supposed to protect their children. How do you protect your children? You give them the information they need, you let them know what to do to protect themselves and to protect others, and then you just have to hope that they don't fuck up. And if they fuck up, you help them get through it. But this particular way of being makes me feel deeply uncomfortable, not only because it's extremely invasive, like she's 18, this is extremely invasive, but it's also creepy because the vibe I got, and this is just my vibe, this is just my opinion, I could be entirely wrong, but the feeling I got, which made me extremely nauseated, is that it seems like he's almost gatekeeping her virginity, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't seem to me that he's doing this to make sure she's being safe and that she's okay and she's protected or whatever. Like, it doesn't seem like parental worry to me. It seems more like he's worried about how it would affect him. You know what I mean? Kind of like, oh, if she's if she has sex, someone will call her a whore and then that'll reflect badly on me. Like, it seems like it's not to protect her because surely if you're trying to protect your daughter, you wouldn't want to make her feel uncomfortable and go in and ask the doctor, is the hymen intact? First of all, because it's not even accurate because breaking your hymen can happen in different situations that aren't related to sex. But anyway, there are different ways to approach this, but here it's just very creepy to me, kind of like he owns his daughter's virginity, which I just feel like Freud would have a great time dissecting this situation. The hymen is a thin membrane that partly covers the entrance to the vagina. It can sometimes be torn or stretched during sexual intercourse, physical activity, tampon use, or medical procedures. The hymen is a rim of tissue that may be more prominent in some women than others. Dr. Quinlan said, people who don't do this for a living don't understand the anatomy. It's like earlobes. There are tons of different appearances. You can tell if someone has had a vaginal delivery, but to tell if someone has had vaginal intercourse is not possible, she added. And then it goes on to say that not every girl is born with a hymen and you know, virginity tests aren't accurate. This is one article. However, another interesting story in relation. So T.I.'s daughter, Deja, hasn't actually outrightly said anything, but but I found an article and I saw someone tweeted me her likes, what she'd been liking on Twitter, and it said, Deja's not said anything publicly about T.I.'s comments, but did like two tweets recently discussing the situation. One read, this is disgusting, possessive, and controlling, woo. The second said, that is beyond possessive. Deja's liking of the tweets would make one think she agrees with their views. Listen, when I was 18, I was still a virgin and I was still deeply, deeply uncomfortable with 
talking to my mom about any of that stuff. My family's weird, we don't really talk about things, we just sweep them under the rug and hope for the best and that's why I go to a therapist now. Considering how uncomfortable I was being a virgin talking about it with my mom, I can't imagine how much more uncomfortable I would have been if my mom was like trying to see if I was lying about being a virgin or trying to pinpoint, you know, when exactly I lost my virginity. Like that's so weird and just, in the end, honestly, kind of irrelevant. Because like I said, if you're teaching your son or daughter how to take the right precautions and how to be safe when they have sex doesn't really matter as long as they're being safe and hopefully it's a consensual situation and hopefully they're responsible enough they're at an age where they understand the potential consequences of having sex i just can't imagine how she must feel especially with this being such a public thing like it's already fucked up as a whole but i feel like it's even more fucked up to kind of publicly announce that information like it's not your business first of all ti whether your daughter is still a virgin but second of all it's no one else's business like the fact that i know that he does this, I don't like that because it's her privacy that you're invading. Like if she chooses to say online she's still a virgin or she's not a virgin or she's done this or that, that's her story to tell. It's not up to you to go out and say, oh yeah, every year I check on and then this private thing of your daughter's, like it's none of anyone's business. I don't know, it just hits me as weird that he checks it but he also feels okay telling the world about it. Sorry, I know I'm ranting but I just am mystified that humans like this haven't gone extinct yet. Okay, so here's a quote from T.I. Right after the birthday, we celebrate, you know? Usually the day after the party, she's enjoying her gifts. I put a sticky note on the door. Gyno tomorrow, 9.30, he continued. He went on to tell a story about how the doctor always maintains a level of professionalism and made his daughter Deja sign a document so that her health information can be shared with her father. Is there anything that you would not want me to know? T.I. said to his daughter at the time. See doc ain't no problem. The gynecologist made it clear to T.I. that there are other ways for a woman to break their hymen, like riding a bike or sports. T.I. said he responded by declaring, she don't ride no horses, she don't ride no bikes, she don't play no sports, just check the hymen please and give me back my results. I will say, as of her 18th birthday, her hymen is still intact. T.I. proudly said. There's something of really creepy about this, I just can't get over how I would have felt if I were the doctor of a parent being so aggressively just interested in whether their daughter's hymen was intact. I mean, does he frame it every time he gets a confirmation that it still is? It's just so bizarre to me. So what pissed me off further is that T.I. has a blatant double standard between his son and his daughter because T.I. and Tiny's 15-year-old son, King, actually admitted in June episode of their reality show that he's been sexually active for a year. While T.I. was an ecstatic upon hearing the news, he eventually laughed it off. I don't want any of my children to have sex before it's time for them, but who's to say it's time, he said. However, I will definitely feel different about a boy than I will a girl, and that's just God's honest truth. I don't think there's any father out there who will tell you different. See now, this pissed me off because first of all, I don't think you should have double standards between your children. It will always fuck shit up. I mean, in certain cases, you have to have different standards because of certain circumstances, such as mental illness, whatever. I'm talking about this situation. I just don't know how he can, with a straight face, say, you know, like, I'm gonna feel different about my daughter losing her virginity and therefore let me just keep tabs on whether this thing that's completely irrelevant, the hymen, which can break without sex, I'm just gonna check if that's still intact to give me, what, a false sense of security? I, I don't understand. And for him to laugh off his son having sex, but then be so controlling and bizarre about his daughter, I don't like that precedent because I also wonder what he's kind of of reinforcing in his son's view. Now, we don't know what his son's views are. I'm sure his son is a nice boy. He's still a boy. It's also sending the wrong message to kind of say that women and men should be held at different standards for something that is essentially the same. I just don't really think it's a good idea to put one as far more severe than the other, you know what I mean? It just seems like his daughter having sex is kind of like the end of the world, whereas his son having sex is just natural, whereas it's natural, full stop, and of course women can get pregnant, so there is that to keep in, in mind, of course. We're all aware of that trust. We won't forget that we can get pregnant, okay? Because it feels like he's possessive of something that's not his, that's also sexual, which makes me feel very strange. And like I said, this is just my interpretation. This is not facts. The only facts are the things I've read from the articles. These are just my opinions. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm extremely jarred by all of this. It makes me feel disgusted, frankly. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right to the fan art.